Oh! What is up, guys? Oh, I'm so excited! It's back! After so many long years, Doki Doki Literature Club is black with a brand new game. Well, more like an add-on. Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, which came out exactly today. And I'm so excited to be playing this. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. I hope you guys are too. Uh, I played this game when it came out and I loved it so much. And I can't wait to get into it with new features such as side stories and new songs. Let's see what is there anything here? No, just let's just get right into it. I hope you oh my goodness. Enter your name? Okay. Hey. Hey. What? Answer. Hey. Oh, so oh, dude, I got a smile on my face. Hey. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori. My neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it's kind of how it works. But it's the kind of... But it's just the kind of work... What? But it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. And I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ha! Ha! I overslept again! But I caught you this time! Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh! You say that you were just thinking about ignoring me. That's mean. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or anything. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> oh, I got a biggest smile on my face. This is so nostalgic. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, have you decided on a club yet to join? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Uh, did I? I'm sure it's possible I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sorry he likes to worry a little bit too much about me. When I'm perfectly content with just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Ah, uh, I was talking I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years just because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her, at, ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's about and it's over before I know it. 
After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sarah wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Ah, uh, hello? Sari. Sari must have come into the classroom while I wasn't spacing out. I looked around and realized that I'm the only one left in the classroom. Ah, uh, I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Uh, you don't need to wait for me. If it's going to make you late for your own club. Ah, well, I thought you might need some encouragement. So I thought, you know. You know what? Well, you, you should come to my club. Sorry. Yeah. There is no way. Oh, there is no way I'm joining your club. Eh, meanie. Sari is the vice president of the literature club. Not that I was aware that she had in any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought she would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed to the club, she inherited the title Vice President, VP. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please? Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. I, f I let out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, alright? Yay! Let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I don't blame him. <laughs> I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visited. Sayori, full of energy, swings open a classroom door. Everyone! The new member's here! I told you, do not call me a new member. I glance around the room. Welcome to this literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sari always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Way to kill the atmosphere! Uh, I'm right out of voices. Uh, uh, ah, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Score. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, then say it. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first-year student. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't... don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh... W it's nice to meet the both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. 
Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. All checks in my book. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuine feels a little... Y you too, Monica. Come, sit down, Logan. We made room for you at the edits at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? Ugh. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been a widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walked over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a rat tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ah! <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy pancakes. Oh, okay. Cupcakes! Decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing. A little piece a little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! I had no idea you were good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one, then Monica. I followed. It's delicious. <laughs> Sayori talks with her mouth full and already <laughs> managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glasses, glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet, full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Mmm, this is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. <laughs> Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Uh, I haven't heard this somewhere before. Made them for you or anything. Ah, uh, I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for you, <laughs> you know, Baka. All right. All right. All right. I gave up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismissed the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set. Ah, you keep you keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot tea Oh my goodness. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh I I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. You're just trying to impress you. Eh, that's that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the Literature Club? Ah, uh, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it is my duty to make the club fun. And exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Ah, uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and the publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take some time I personally enjoy it and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. 
Monica really likes, really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. Well, you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident we can all really grow in this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yay! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Logan, what kind of things do you like to read? Ah, uh, I like manga. Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Oh, manga! I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Uh, that, well, that could, you know, change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her fingers. My favorite are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. She likes the isekai. Yuri, uh, Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so desperately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, oh, I read a lot of horror. I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might be as well having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is often very stressful in changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment, I just hit my mic. <laughs> ah! I hate horror! Oh, why is that? Well, it's just... Natsuki's dart eyes dart over for me for a split second. Never mind. That's that's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece. Ah, you left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called. Don't say it out loud. And give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sari slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hand on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Not a very confident writer, are you? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that love of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. 
You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have any writing experience, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable to share hers. Ah. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Huh? Nat and Yuri, I like that. Natsuki and Yuri looks quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Ah! Oh. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it! Plus, we even have a new member. I think it will help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Logan? Uh, Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. Oh, huh? what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sari may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decisions. I still have other clubs to look at, and um... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Bye. But... Oh, I'm sorry. I thought... Hmm. Oh, yeah. You all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Okay, right. Okay, I decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yeah, I'm so happy. Sayuri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over, me, looks over at me once more. Logan, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety willing up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Logan. Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayuri and I never walk home together anymore because she has always stayed after school for clubs. Uh, sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstances. And I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem! So, since I, I played this game, I beat every level. I even got the secret ending with all the girls together. So, I thought... Who should I write the poem for? Who should I see these special cutscenes? And I thought just, just, uh, I think it would be, uh, Sayori if I can actually get it. But who knows? I, <laughs> I can't always guarantee, but that's who I'll try to be go for. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get into it. Let's do... Get... Oh, see, that was Natsuki. So every time you click on one of these, depending on the word, one of these characters will jump. Since I pressed kiss, I got Natsuki. So let's see, headphones, melody, cage, crimson, treasure, smile, nature, B. Let's try, uh, 
Let's try Cage. No, that seems no. Let's yeah, Cage. See, that was Yuri. Precious family sticky piece parfait whisper rose vitality and flowable contamination precious. Let's try precious. It's either so I got all three of them. Loud hurt spinning ribbon horror passion whistle joy playground twirl. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try spinning. Yeah, that's key. Journey, skipping, marriage, flea, doki doki, cloud, sunset, puppy, pain, fear. Let's try sunset. Jump, milk, firefly, sunny, meager, cute, clumsy, universal, pure, swimsuit, jump. Let's try fireflies. Yeah, grief, judgment, explode, fireworks, shopping, unrequited, destiny, misery, climax, rainbow. Let's try grief. What is that? Oh, I got an achievement. Doki Doki Poetry Slam? I love it. <laughs> Let's see, uh... Vivacious. Let's try Rain Cloud. Agonizing, Convert, Dance, Cheer, Holiday, and Frightening, Alone, Vacation. Who the oh, that would be Natsuki. Let's try Agonizing, Yuri. Jumpy, time, proof, mouse, candy, intellectual, wonderful, feather, melancholy, dream. <laughs> Let's try time. Another Yuri. Games, bubble, sparkles, existence, entropy, music, nightgown, pleasure, chocolate, flower. Mm. Let's try existence. Oh, we're getting Yuri. Warm memories, vanilla, socks, blanket, adventure, lipstick, shame, fest, misfortune. Let's try warm. Insight, empty, vivid, happiness, love, bouncy, electricity, colors. Who, who has love? Oh, it would be Sayari. This ray, tears, fluffy, eternity, bed, disaster, kitty, peaceful, wrath. Let's try bed. Inferno, unrestrained, special sadness, Papa. Breath, giggle, unending, essence, email. Who the fuck has email? <laughs> Natsuki? Alright. Heart, graveyard, charm, despise, calm, portrait, anxiety, beauty, dark, laughs. Anxiety. Extreme, starscape, childhood, vibrant, marshmallow, dazzle, vertigo, anger, atonely, childhood. Lollipop. Lollipop. If <laughs> hopeless, unstable, hop, hop, captive, captive, sugar, excitement, cry, incapable, fantasy, lush, shiny. Hmm. Cry, nibble, after image, scars, raindrops, massacre, Valentine, fickle, question. Philosophy. Let's try scars. Sayori. I think we got Sayori. All right, guys. With that being said, I am super excited about playing this again. I hope you guys are excited watching this as we go through. So, on the next episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, we share our poems. See you guys.